So chat GPT, when, when it, when it, was launched late last year. I think it seems like they did not have like dramatic expectations for it, but it took off. It's one of like the fastest like adopted um, SaaS models in the history of the web, right? And so, I don't know, man. I used it. I messed around with it. It, it seems kind of gimmicky, like right now. It doesn't seem particularly accurate, and doesn't seem like I'd want to be like cheating for my term paper, you know, using that right now or anything like that. I think the internet still works pretty well in the old fashion there. But talk to me a little bit about like so these plugins. What are some examples? And you know, some very smart folks. Um, a lot of proclamations on the web about how it's like just a game changer. Like what? what how do you think of this as somebody who kind of is always scouting out technologies to integrate? And, and kind of um, you know innovate. Yeah, I think um, the 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 proof will be when the value is delivered. And, and the reason why there's a lot of excitement now is that there's like clear examples of value being delivered, particularly around like customer service or so many art applications uh, now. Like a uh, you know uh, one of my friends runs or helps run a company uh, that does comic pu publishing, Global Comics, and they have the, this whole like generative art thing that's now flowing into comics, and it's creating this really rich and, and interesting um, ecosystem. And uh, it's uh, there's some really exciting stuff that that sort of happened. The, the thing is there will be applications of this that change people's lives. I think like the the, the perspective that I bring to it, especially for um, finance or fintech in particular, is that if it can sort of emulate the ability for humans to, to detect emergent, patterns or things that it wouldn't be pre-programmed for, that's where it's different than what came before it. And so, you know, we do uh, a lot of account reviews, for example, like, um, hey, there's some um, suspicious activity potentially on this account. Um, let's let's investigate it and, 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 and try to understand what's happening, you know, hear from the customer what might be happening on their account. Um, if we can sort of do that at a much bigger scale, because you need people to, to do these types of reviews today, because you can never capture as as people use things in different ways. If you can actually like apply that type of uh, of a opinion or understanding or something that can actually interpret as it's going, I think that's really powerful. Um, I think it will sort of bring uh, much fairer if 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 like it's there's the the kind of control mechanisms built in place where you're QAing the output and making sure that the quality is there. It could make pretty huge difference, certainly on the, the finance side of like um, knowing who customers are, 